Do you know what your bones are made out of? They're made of calcium carbonate, in common with animals right the way around the world, from birds to butterflies. Calcium carbonate is especially important for marine life because it's soluble, so it dissolves in water. That makes it very easy for marine organisms to absorb it into their bodies. So animals from crustaceans to mollusks to corals use it for their exoskeletons or their bones. Unfortunately, a big problem today is that the pollution that we're creating is increasing the acidity of the world's oceans. This is a problem because calcium carbonate reacts with acid, so it has an impact on the life that lives in the world's oceans. Today's experiment is going to explore that very subject. For this experiment, you need about 200 milliliters of white vinegar. This is available at supermarkets across the world. It's also known as acetic acid. It's used for cooking purposes. Your parents might have some at home in your kitchen, or maybe your teacher has got some in the science lab at your school. Be a little bit careful, because this stings if you get it in your eyes, and it also doesn't taste very nice. So wash your hands after doing this experiment to make sure you, you don't get in contact with any of this vinegar. You also need about 200 milliliters of water. This can be seawater, rainwater, or tap water. The purpose of this is to use it as a control against the vinegar to check your results. You also need some seashells. Hopefully some of your classmates have been to the beach recently or on holiday and collected some shells that they can spare. Ask your teacher for some pH strips to test the acidity of the vinegar and the water. And then you also need some scales to measure the weight of the seashells before and after the experiment. Okay, let's get started. Step one, measure the weight of a shell. This particular one here weighs 6.6 grams. So we'll put this in a beaker labeled vinegar. That's right, 6.6 .6 grams on the front of it. If you want to, you can put in other shells, but just remember to make sure that you know which shell you've weighed. So I'm gonna put in lots of little shells, which are different from that big one that we just weighed. Then just repeat the process for water. So let's put this shell in our beaker for water, and this one weighs 5.8 grams, so this is a little bit smaller. The difference doesn't matter at all. Let's put that one in here. And we'll add a few small shells as well. Step two, we've got to measure the pH of the two different liquids and see how acidic they are. So here's a little pH strip. Let's put it in the vinegar. Well, look, that's turned bright orange. If we then compare that against the pH color chart, look, we can see that's easily pH 4, even maybe getting towards pH 3. So it's very acidic. Let's repeat the process for the water. Oh, that hasn't changed color at all. Let's compare that against the color chart. Yep, that's pretty much neutral. That's about pH 7. So that's not very acidic. So we've got a good contrast between our two liquids. Step three, it's time to do the experiment. So very carefully take your vinegar and pour it onto the shells. If you wait a couple of seconds, then look really carefully, you should see something happen. Then our control experiment, let's pour in the water and see what happens there. You then have to be really patient and leave the two beakers alone. But if you look very, very carefully, you'll see something is happening. After waiting 24 hours, it's time to take the shells out of the liquids. Let's start with the one in vinegar. So put that on a paper towel and dry it very carefully so it's completely dry because the weight of the liquid can impact the experiment. And then you've got to measure its weight again. 
So this is now saying it is 5.4 grams. So if you remember, we weighed that shell and put it in and it weighed 6.6 .6 grams. It now weighs 5.4 grams. So it's reduced in weight by 1.2 grams. Let's do the same for the shell that we put in water. It was this big shell down here at the bottom, if I remember correctly. Here it is. Let's dry it again. And let's weigh it. Ah, this shell is 5.8 grams. So it is exactly the same weight as it was when we put it in the water. It's 5.8, so it hasn't changed at all. So one shell has reduced in weight, one shell hasn't. Why do you think that is? So the shell that we put in the acidic vinegar has decreased in weight. However, the shell that we put in water has stayed exactly the same. Discuss your results with your teacher or your parents and try and answer three research questions. You've got to upload the answers to these three questions to our website within the next two weeks in order to win prizes. The first question is what's happened and why? Why do you think we've seen a difference between the two shells? Remember, there's a difference in the liquids that we put them into. The second research question is what do you think the gas was that was released from the shells? Remember all those little bubbles? What was that gas? There's a clue in the words calcium carbonate. Discuss this question with your teachers or your parents at home. And for the last question, think what impact increasing the acidity of the world's oceans has on marine life. Those crustaceans, mollusks and coral. What impact would the increasing acidity of the world's oceans have on the calcium carbonate of these organisms? And what can we do to reduce the impact of ocean acidification? Upload your answers to the Darwin 200 website within the next two weeks for the chance to win exciting prizes. Remember, an instruction PDF can be downloaded from our website. Good luck and see you in two weeks for the answers.